Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in one of my all-time favourite games, GTA Vice City. A game that's been released more times than I can count, it released originally back on the PS2 in 2002, which oh my god that makes me sound old. But I'm going to be playing the Definitive Edition that released in 2021. Now we all pretty much know the story of GTA Vice City by now, but if you don't, we play as a character called Tommy Fassetti, whose his whole goal is to basically become rich and own Vice City, which is based on Miami. And one of the reasons I love this game so much is because it's based in the 80s, and I absolutely love the atmosphere in this game, I love the tune. I just love the whole vibe. But with that all said, the game has 34 trophies that we're going to have to tackle, with four of them being missable, so we're going to have to keep our eyes open for those. So the main goal, as always, with any GTA game is to go for 100%, which involves a lot of stuff, but we'll go over those later. In this game, there's a trophy called Take the Cannoli, which is to earn the Godfather criminal rating, but the criminal rating we need is 100,000, which you can't get normally playing unless you wanted to do a crazy amount of grinding. There's a sweet little trick we can do It'll make that a hell of a lot easier that we're going to go over later. But not before this iconic intro. I, I poke, poke my head, head out of the gutter for one freaking second, second and fake shove a shit in my face. face. Which leads perfectly into the first trophy I get, legal counsel for completing the right mission. I get my ass on over to a shop to get some new clothes to blend in with the workers. Once I arrive there, I started a fight with a couple of them because we need these guys to riot. Once that happened, the gates opened up and I was now able to shoot and blow up the vans. Once I'd done that, we got the hell out of there. It was now time for the first of four missable trophies. This one was called Irony, which was for killing the property developer with a golf club during the four iron mission. So got in my car, we got our asses over there, but not before getting some new clothes so we can blend in with the golfers. Once I'd arrived, I grabbed myself a golf club because of course we need to slap him up with this thing. Jumped in a caddy, got over there, saw him doing a little bit of golfing. Today was the last time he was going to golf though. Sorry mate. I get over there, he tries to run off. I slap him in the back and go to town on him. The guy didn't even get away, he had no chance. It was now time for the second of four missable trophies. This one was called Choppered Up. For this one, I needed to kill all the hostile NPCs during the mission Demolition Man. With this mission, we're flying this little RC chopper thing with the blades on it. So we need to pick up the bombs and drop them off to blow the place up. But as I said, for this trophy, I needed to go and kill all of them with the blades. These poor sods were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Get out of here, mate. Here we go. Nice. Boom! Then during a mission, I had to take out this fat geezer with a chainsaw. So I ran down there before he could even escape. Don't ask what that runs about. I got my chainsaw out. Destroyed the poor guy. Once I'd done that though, the police were chasing me. So I jumped in my car, got the hell out of there. And while I were doing that, I drove into a police bribe badge, which unlocked greasy palms. Get out of my way, bro. Ooh. It was now time to complete the supply and demand mission for the trophy South American Connection. During this mission, we met up with Lance, we jumped in a boat and it was time to take out everyone trying to get us. So I took out all these fellas, blew those guys up, took out a chopper and finished the mission. It was now time to unlock the trophy Big Heat from Little Havana for completing the Trojan Voodoo mission. In this one, we get this geezer who comes with us. So. We needed to first find the right kind of vehicle so we could get inside the factory. Once we'd done so, we met up with these fellas. We finally made our way in there, took out all these numpties, and once I'd done that, I planted the three bombs. Done. Get me out of here. The timer were ticking. I needed to leave these guys because they were slowing me down. We get over to the gate. Things are going crazy. I'm like, nope, I'm out of here, bro. So I drive up to the side of the wall, jump on the vehicle, get over there, and complete the mission. Boom! Judge help those guys running. <laughs> it was then time for the mission, all hands on deck. For completing this one, we unlock the life of the party trophy. Pretty simple mission this one, we just need to defend him while he gets away in his yacht. There's a load of boats, enemies trying to take us out, but we've got a gun. We take him out easily and finish the mission. Easy. It was now time to take out the shot. Angry Man Diaz during the mission rub out. We unlocked the trophy. Salutations, my little friend. For this one, we needed to just basically take him out with the M4. You start with the M4, so as long as you keep that, it's pretty straightforward and you unlock the trophy. I'm gonna kill you, bro. 
and doing so unlocked our first property. Now this next mission, Hogtide, was pretty freaking difficult, not gonna lie. We unlock a trophy called Tommy Two Wheels for completing this mission. But yeah, the mission was pretty difficult. We was doing missions for a biker gang and the final mission wanted us to go and steal a chopper. The bike kind of chopper though. So I made my way over there. I failed a couple of times. They blew up my freaking vehicle and they kept popping the bloody tires. It was really difficult not to have them pop the tires. And I also got slapped off the bike and arrested, which was absolutely brilliant. Oh my god. But after a few failed attempts, I finally got my ass over there, took out a couple of the guards, jumped on the chopper, got the hell out of there. Once I jumped over the stairs, I parked up because I felt it would be a bit easier to just take out some of the enemies before we actually get on the road to drive. So we do that. I then go flying off the bike because I'm an absolute master of a driver and finish the mission. The next mission with a trophy was called Publicity Tour. The trophy was Chauffeur. We're doing missions for Love Fist. Love Fist is this band that's in some of the GTA games and absolutely hilarious. We're supposed to be driving them in the limo to the gig, but it turns out somebody armed the freaking limo with a bomb. So I need to drive around at high speed to make sure the bomb doesn't go off. We listen to a little bit of banter between these insane Scottish fellows. And after a little bit of time, we finally defuse the freaking bomb. And I can then safely drop them off. But for some reason, the first time I did this, I just randomly failed the mission. I don't know what happened. After that, I did it again. It was all good. After that, I did one of the final missions to unlock the mansion as a property so we can gain some money for it. For this one, we was with Lance Vance once again. We needed to lure two coppers into this garage. Ooh, fits perfectly. Bit tight around the crotch though. Oh yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. So we could take them out and steal the clothes. Once we'd done that, we was able to drive over to the mall and plant a bomb to blow this shop up. I'm home, boys. Now that we'd finished that mission, I thought it was a pretty decent time to try and get another property, another business under our belts. The first one I went for was probably one of the easiest in the game, which is pole position. I bought it and to complete this one, all you need to do is spend three hundred dollars. So I simply went in there. I had this woman dancing. We needed to spend 300. It took a little while, so I went off, made myself a cup of tea, came back, and completed pole position. Cool, let me grab that. Oops, sorry. Sweaty guy. I then tackled another business. I bought the Cherry Poppers place. We sell ice cream, okay? Don't question it. And to complete this business, you just basically need to do 50 deals. It's pretty straightforward. You just drive around, wait for them to come over and do deals. You don't want to do them too fast though because the police will come after you so just sell them slowly once you've got 50 done you complete the business cherry pop is done boy so with them two businesses done i needed to continue purchasing more businesses but i decided i wanted to go make a little bit of money of course to get 100 percent we needed to do the dreaded ambulance vigilante you know the drill by now so the first thing i did was the ambulance we needed to get to level 12 for the trophy somebody called the ambulance so tommy went around saving people because he's an absolute stand-up guy and then once i'd done all 12 not only did i unlock the trophy but i could now run indefinitely yeah buddy i then became a pizza delivery boy because we needed to deliver 10 pizzas for the pie guy trophy and once i'd unlocked the trophy i then needed to continue doing them until i completed it because it works towards 100 percent but we also get an extra 50 percent health pick a pizza now i wanted to continue making money and working towards 100 percent so i decided now is a good time to go get those dreaded 100 hidden packages we know the drill by now every gta game has 100 hidden packages so i went around picking them up because you get a little bit of cash every time you get one but also every 10 that you get you unlock a weapon at your safe house but then also at 90 and 100 you unlock the tank and the hunter which we will need later on for some other trophies and activities and as an added bonus you get a big lump of money once you get the final 100 package oh yeah so now that i'd grabbed the trophy and all 100 packages i felt it was a pretty good time to get the trophy running rampant which was for completing vigilante mission level 12. so of course as i said before i unlocked the tank and the hunter 
So now was a perfect opportunity to jump in the Hunter. But first I needed to get a police uniform. Because if you don't have a police uniform, they'll just shoot you on sight. With a uniform though, they'll let you in. I jumped in it and went to town on everybody. Boom. And it's now time to become a firefighter. Because I wanted the trophy high quality H2O for extinguishing 10 fires. So I got my ass over to the fire department. Borrowed a fire truck and started putting out fires. I then needed to put out some more because of course we needed to do level 12 of it to work towards the 100% progress. Once we'd done that we also became completely fireproof which is pretty sweet. I then went and won the RC Bandit race for the trophy just like the real thing. And it was then time to do a little trick because you remember that trophy at the beginning I said? Take the cannoli for earning the Godfather criminal rating. Well, there's one called the Butcher Rating as well. The Butcher Rating is obviously a lot easier. But for the Cannoli one, the criminal rating you need is ridiculous. And you need to do so much stuff to actually get it. But there's this neat little trick that we can do on the Cone Crazy mission. Basically what you do here is you go to a garage and on top, you jump in the car and you do this Cone Crazy mission. And every time you, you get $200 for completing it. But if you can complete it faster each time, the money doubles. So for the first seven attempts, we just needed to finish it with zero time. But then after number seven, we needed to do it so we had one second, then two seconds, then three seconds, so on and so forth. You keep doing that and it multiplies every single time you do it. It does then start to get a little bit more difficult to actually do it fast enough. So there's a little trick you can do with the cones. Before you collect any of the checkpoints, you can kind of just shimmy the cone out of the way so you don't have to worry about breaking it. And then you can do it even faster. Then the final time I did it, I actually got $104 million, which is absolutely ridiculous. But of course, we did get the two trophies we needed. And now it's time for my favorite GTA pastime, being a taxi driver. For this trophy, point A to point B, I needed to drop off 25 passengers. Once I'd done that, I of course unlocked the trophy, but then I needed another 75 because I needed to do 100 altogether for 100%. Then get out. About an hour later, I completed my 100th taxi fare. So happy days. And once I'd done that, I headed over to go and save the game. And as I did that, I jumped out of the car and unlocked the trophy on in the 80s for listening to all the music stations at least once. Making more progress towards 100%, I needed to go and rob all 15 stores in the game. Give me your money! Easy peasy. Now, I was completing rampages. There's 32 altogether. While I was doing one of them though, I was blowing up these cars and I unlocked the trophy. Bull in a china shop, causing 1 million in property damage. I then continued doing rampages and completed all 32. Squish! Damn us, bro. It was now time for the fourth and final missable trophy. This one's called Not My First Time. We needed to complete the mission G Spotlight without falling from the rooftop. So for this mission, we go across rooftops, jumping rooftop to rooftop on a bike. We can actually fall off the bike as long as we don't fall off the roof. So for this one, it can be quite difficult. So I made sure to save the game before attempting this mission. Because if you do fail at getting the trophy in this mission, there's no way of replaying the mission. So you're going to have to either restart the whole game or load a previous save. I made a save before attempting it. Three tries later, I finally completed it, unlocking the trophy. Yeah! Complete my final chopper checkpoint mission. Done. And then with all that wonderful money that we'd earned, I went and unlocked the trophy at Vice City Mugle, which was for owning 10 properties. My house. Now, another 100% task. We needed to go to the firing range and get a score of at least 45. This one's super easy. Just mostly focus on the target furthest away for the most points and you'll have no issues. And for completing it, we get an added bonus of faster reloads. So I continued buying properties, completing properties, and I now had the final mission for the Malibu Club. For this one, we needed to do a heist. This one's a pretty fun mission, but it can also be quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. I've done this a few times before, so it wasn't too bad. I headed upstairs, took out these two fools with a shotgun, went further up, took another two guards out with a shotgun, and then took the lift down. Once down there, we couldn't get in, 
we needed the manager because he had the key. So I went back upstairs, grabbed the manager, brought the fool down, and then on my way back up, the alarm went off. So it was time to go grab some armor and take care of business. The SWAT was coming in thick and fast, took them all out, and we got our asses outside. They were waiting for us. Our driver arrives and within two seconds gets mowed down. So I took out a few more SWAT members with a shotgun, jumped in the car. This guy was shooting me in the ass. I was like, okay, bro. Went to run him over and then again and again and then again. And he finally died. Teammates jumped in the car, almost got arrested, but we're all good. Now the difficult part is basically over. We just needed to drive down the street to the pay and spray so we could get rid of the police. The rich, baby. I then completed the final mission for Phil. The dude blew his freaking arm off. So I needed to get him over to the hospital before he died. Once I'd done that, I unlocked another property. Thanks, Phil. I then completed the final assassination contract. The trophy was gun for hire. Usually you only have to take out one or two enemies, but for this final one, you have to go and steal a briefcase. So I took out all the enemies, got to the rooftop, grabbed the briefcase. I then needed to jump in the chopper and deliver it over at the airport. Once that was done, we completed the mission and unlocked the trophy. I then took on the final mission to complete the taxi rank business. At first, all these dudes attack you. You just need to survive a little bit. And then the big boss man comes in in his leopard taxi. I jumped over him thinking I was a smart ass. Ended up failing. Jumped out the vehicle because it was on fire and got run over and failed. Bro, are you serious? Next attempt, I was like, right, that's not going to happen again. I'm just going to take him out with a freaking gun. So took a machine gun, took him out, then ran him down. Squish. I then took out a shit ton of crazies, got another briefcase, got in the chopper, got out of there and completed the printworks business. Printworks! I then bought the final business that we needed, which was the bolt yard. This one's super easy. You only have to do one mission, which is just a couple of checkpoints in time. Once I'd done that, it was complete. Nice. Bolt yard! And with all that, it was time to do the final mission of the game. Keep your friends close. Once we complete this mission, we unlock the mischief managed trophy now unfortunately lance vance dance did us dirty stabbed us in the back and turned on us so it was time for me to take him out tons of enemies were running up the stairs mowed them all down got my ass up to the roof found lance took him out and i just went over to make sure he was actually dead confirmed he were got back downstairs and it was now time to take out the main man and finish the mission ggs baby so what percent are we on now? Percentage complete. All right, we're eight to six percent through. I'll take it. It's pretty good. And I went for the trophy. Keep you up, yoki doki. We needed to earn a high score of five. The beach ball. This is a super random trophy. I don't understand why this is even in the game. After a couple of attempts, it was done. Oh, here we go. I totally forgot about the unique stunt jumps, so I went and got those done as well. Once I'd completed all 36 of the jumps, I unlocked the trophy Daredevil. Let's go. All right, now I wanted the trophy. One is better than two. I needed to perform a 30 second wheelie. This sounds super easy, but for whatever reason, I had a bit of difficulty with this. So I headed over to the beach, started doing wheelies. In my head, I was counting to 30. I think I got pretty close a couple of times. Bro, what did I just fall on? What? Did someone bury this guy? Right, now that we ran that poor guy over, we got buried. I did another wheelie, but this time I decided to take it a little bit slower, which was definitely the right approach. Slow and steady. All right, so these next two trophies required me to go on a rampage. The first one was Catch Me If You Can, which was for achieving a six star wanted level. I went and got the police uniform again, headed back over to the hunter, and went to town on people getting a six star wanted level pretty quick Woo! with that done i actually ended up getting blown up so i headed back over to the army base but this time i grabbed the tank because this thing is basically indestructible nothing can kill you in this thing because i needed the trophy i'm famous for earning the stuff of legends media attention rank to get this one, basically just blow everything up in the tank. And after you get a certain amount of points, you'll unlock the trophy. You do have to pause the game though, for some reason, for it to trigger. All right, so I was now working on the final business. 
which was Sunshine Autos. This is probably my favorite business. You deliver vehicles, but there's also six races you've got to do towards 100%. But there's two trophies tied to the Sunshine Autos. The first one is Don't Need Roads, which is for hitting max speed in the Deluxo. So the Deluxo is one of the rewards. Once you complete, I think it's the second one, you unlock the Deluxo. So once I'd unlocked it, I headed over to the airport so I could go to the runway, pick up a bunch of speed. Good stuff. With that done, there was only two more trophies now before the Platinum. The first one was Grand Theft Auto for retrieving every wanted vehicle at Sunshine Autos. So one of the only vehicles I really needed left was the Caddy. A lot of the other vehicles I'd actually already got because I knew I needed them. So I just saved them in the garages that you get so I could just drive them all in. Alright, so we're taking the Caddy in. Go, and I've pretty much got, I think, all of the other vehicles already stored because I knew I needed them and get the trophy for delivering all the vehicles. So we took the Caddy, the Voodoo, Pizza Boy, we need Mr. Whipping, the Herms, go, and now we just need the baggage, which I think I stored in the back, nice. Yeah, because I knew I needed all these, so I just stored them all away. There we go, that's all of them, that should be the trophy. There we go, Grand Theft Auto, retrieve every wanted vehicle at Sunshine Auto's import. So now we've done that, I need only one more trophy, which is for 100%, which assuming I haven't missed anything, which I might have, the only thing I need to do now is the races and I should have 100%. So I'm on 94, so there might be something else I'm missing because I feel like I wouldn't get 6% from these. We'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm on the last one. So hopefully, assuming I've not missed anything. This should be the last race and should get me to 100%. I'm not sure though because I looked at my stats and still need 3%. I'm not confident this one race alone would give me 3%, but I guess we'll find out after we finish. All right, moment of truth. No. No 100%. Oh no, I've missed something. And I didn't write down a checklist because I was confident that I knew exactly what I needed. Oh god. 2%. What am I missing then? So this is what we're missing. I totally forgot about the stadium events. There's three uh, stadium events that you gotta do. I completely forgot about them. Finally. Beautiful. Alright, so I've got one left, which is the hot ring. It's time. Get our asses over there to a uh, hot ring. And then that should be 100% for the trophy and the platinum. You can see there, 99%. So we're pretty much done now. Hopefully, this does give me the remaining, remaining 1%. I'd imagine it will do. Alright, final lap. And then we should have 100% and the platinum. There we go, boom! Done it all. Earned 100% completion and King freaking pin. Let's go unlock all trophies. Vice City is 